Hey guys, how is it going? In the previous video, we have created a simple Flask server with the Flask RESTful extension. And today, I'm going to show you another Flask extension which is called Flask SQL Alchemy. And basically, Flask SQL Alchemy is another extension for Flask which adds supports for SQL Alchemy. So SQL Alchemy itself, it's basically a Python library which allows us to interact with the SQL database. So now we can start to install this uh, package by running pip env install flask SQL alchemy as well as the flask marshmallow. So this package which will allow us to transform the SQL alchemy data into a JSON object. So let's install it. And now after the installation is finished, we can go back to our code editor and here we can say from flask SQL Alchemy, we import the SQL Alchemy. Then we also want to import flask uh, marshmallow, which we imported uh, marshmallow like this. Then we want to install the SQL Alchemy to this uh, Flask server. So now we can say db equal to skalchemy and app. Here we also want to install the marshmallow, which is uh, marshmallow like this. And now what I want to do is we want to create a configuration for our SQL Alchemy. So it will tell the SQL Alchemy what database do we use and how to access it. So now we can say app dot Dot config and here we can say the SQL alchemy database URI and here we specify the database which is SQLite and uh, we say db.sqlite3 so what so now we want to store our database with the SQLite database inside the database uh, db.sqlite3 file so now we can create something called model and the model is basically a class that allows us to interact with the specific table of our database so now what we can do is we can create a new class post and here we extend the db.model and now we want to specify the fields and the fields should be uh, id which is db.column and here we want to say this is an integer and I want this ID to be the primary key. And we also want to say title, which is also a column, but this should be type of string. And I want to set the maximum length to be 100. And we also want to get the title and db column, db.text. So text, it's basically the same as the string, but string uh, can only contains less than 255 character but text can be much longer than that and here we want to create a schema for this post so in order to transform the data from the uh, post data into a JSON we want to create a marshmallow uh, schema so here we can say class post schema and uh, ma dot schema and here we want to class uh, meta and in this meta class we want to specify the fields so the fields that should be transformed is id title and also content so if you create another field you may want to add this in here too and now we want to store the schema inside a variable so now we can say post schema equal to post schema and here we also want to say post schema equal to post schema and many true so here we store the schema inside the post schema and the schema should be a singular uh, post but here in the post schema with s we want to store a uh, multiple post. So now we can go to our terminal and run Python 
and here we want to run the migration so now we can say from main import db so we are importing this uh, db uh, object into this uh, python interactive shell so now we can say db.create all and here we are uh, running the uh, migration so now if we open up our files and we can see that if we run this uh, command our db.sklite3 is generated so the database is uh, generated basically so now if we uh, exit it and run the server python main.py and you can see we have no problem and now we haven't implement the create or maybe read update and delete so now we can say in the get request we want to uh, fetch all of the post schema so here in the post resource in the get method we want to fetch all of the post data so now we can say post dot query all right like this so now if we go to postman local host 5000 post we hit send and we can see an empty array so this is working so now we want to implement the create post data so now we can here in the flask request we can get the json data so here we can say data equal to request.json and maybe we want to print out the data as well as uh, returning the data so we can see what's inside the json request so now if we uh, change this to post and the body should be raw and the text should be json and maybe the title is uh, learn flask and here the content is lorem ipsum with send and we can see that this is the exact same data as this so we can fetch the body from the request.json so now we want to use this request.json to store our post data so now we can say post equal to post and the title should be data.title and the content should be data.content and then we want to say db.session.add post and db.session commit post I'm sorry just like this and we want to return the post itself so these lines of code is actually how we store our data into the database and now if we uh, go to postman again we hit send and we can see an error and this error said object of type post is not json serial serializable so the reason why we get this error is because we need to transform this uh, post data into the post schema so now we can say post schema and why we use this post schema not this one because we want to uh, serialize only one post so now we can say dump and post it's like this now if we open up our uh, postman and we can see the uh, data so now if we go to get request and we hit send we also get an error and this error is the exact same error as we get before this code so now in here we can wrap this uh, data into post schema dot dump and the reason why we use this post schema is because uh, we specify the many true we save and send now we can see both of our uh, content so that's it for this video thanks for watching